Welcome to Markets on Air. New pathways, infrastructure for Colombia. Rush hour in Bogota. The 8 million strong metropolis is choked with traffic, frustrating the city's commuters and slowing down commerce. Colombian exports have to be transported over long distances from the industrial centers in the country's interior to its coastal harbors. The major transport routes are inadequate, but that is due to change. We will practically double the number of new highways. That means an investment of some 12 billion euros over the next five years. But it is an undertaking that can only be achieved with foreign know-how and funds. Colombian government representatives recently gathered in Frankfurt to present their plans for expansion to German construction companies. Colombia is a very interesting country which has developed well over the past few years. And right now it's taking on some huge tasks with its plans to overhaul its infrastructure. There'll be lots of new projects in Colombia. German companies were involved in the construction of Bogota's new airport. The luggage check-in system at Latin America's second largest hub is made in Germany. Moving forward, Rwanda forges ahead. Outside the Rwandan capital Kigali, the German Strabag subsidiary is building a highway into neighboring Uganda. This is how all of Rwanda's major traffic arteries should look like in five years. Rwanda is a showcase project. No other country in Africa is building as many roads as Rwanda. There's progress, too, in the capital, where roads have long been finished and new buildings are going up everywhere. The country's new roads and expanded power grid have led to record exports. Rwanda's economy is experiencing rapid annual growth, and 2013 was no exception. Germany Trade and Invest expects the Southeast African nation's GDP to reach the equivalent of 7.7 .7 billion U.S. dollars. Agriculture has always been the country's leading industry. Farm products still account for nearly half of all exports. All the infrastructures uh, we have uh, so far managed to develop are uh, really targeting uh, um, either exports or external-wise, but also locally uh, strengthen the infrastructure. And a study by the World Bank rates Rwanda as one of the most attractive business locations in Africa due to low levels of corruption and red tape. $38,638,000 U.S. dollars. That was the total sum of direct investment in sub-Saharan Africa in 2012. The booming economies of Rwanda, Nigeria, Angola and Ethiopia were especially attractive to investors. All in all, though, Africa's share of global foreign investment makes up just 5.6% of the total. Global trade breakthrough. Fewer customs barriers and more opportunities for poor countries. Some 160 member nations of the World Trade Organization reached a historic global trade agreement on the Indonesian island of Bali. Germany also stands to benefit. Analysts expect an export boost amounting to tens of billions of euros. Turnaround in sight. German car makers expect a strong year in 2014 as demand picks up again in Europe. They estimate global sales of some 14 million cars. In its end of the year assessment, the German auto industry says Europe has turned the corner and that Germans are buying more cars again. Honors in Paris. Car makers Daimler and Renault and tech giants Siemens and Atos won the 2013 Franco-German Business Award for their industrial cooperation. The alliances were praised for saving costs and improving their positions on the global market. Quenching thirst, brewing beer for the world. This giant tank will soon be used to brew beer. 250 such tanks are delivered from this factory in Odenwald every year. The steel plates are cut by lasers underwater to reduce emissions. 
The Tsiemen Company mostly exports to South America and Asia. Now it's won a contract for a brewery in Cambodia, a major challenge. It's vital for the statics and construction to consider wind and earthquake loads, and the kind of raw materials also play a role in determining the size of the components. In addition to building breweries, Siemen also develops new types of beer, a lucrative business in Asia. The people are getting wealthier, and their purchasing power is increasing. Beer is an expression of status and the good life. The first beer tanks for Cambodia are finished. In three months' time, they'll be shipped to Asia and delivered. That was Markets on Air.